These were very tough results that we reported today. Uh, we reported a reduced revenue of about 21%. Uh, and then we also reported some losses um, with uh, a fully diluted headline earnings of about um, 8 rand 29 cents. You know, so very, very tough results indeed. We, we, we're looking at it deeply, and what, we, what we're finding is that um, there's a lot of culture issues that needs to be shaken up. I think the, the group was probably bitten, um, so we need to retain the winning mentality to, to our people, you know. Um, and, 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 and we need to also focus a lot on making sure that the processes and procedures that we have as a group that have really helped us deliver quite iconic structures in the continent and we stick to those you know so there's been a, a bit of a, a leadership um, issue in regards to monitoring those things and making sure that guys do what they have promised there's a i mean that's a big uh, strategy conversation um, which is something that we are having also uh, among ourselves um, to say where exactly the group should be playing. You would have seen that uh, alluded to a growth in the EPC space, which is slightly different from the traditional construction space that we've operated in over the number of years. But also it's a space that we've been very successful. I mean, we've delivered some nice projects, about 11 EPC projects in the continent. Um, so there's, a, there's an element of focusing in that particular space and moving slightly up the construction or uh, project delivery value chain, you know, and play in the APC space. It's a big challenge in South Africa. Not only are they becoming smaller, they're becoming fewer, you know. So uh, although we have done projects in the APC framework in South Africa, um, there is more opportunities in the continent, you know, and so also it has to come with a lot of development ability. So ability to develop projects, ability to secure funding for some of these projects, which are all partnerships that we are uh, investigating and, 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 you know, buttoning down going forward. So yes, we've retrenched, uh, sadly, uh, a number of people over the year. Um, what, 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 we, what we're doing now is to actually build in the ability to downscale and upscale uh, as the market dictates. So the way we're structuring ourselves is with that agility embedded within the business itself. That's number one. Two, we're looking at leadership. You know? uh, leaders must lead. You know? And currently, um, there's, there's all these losses that, uh, my view is, we've led the group into these losses. So we must lead the group out of these losses again. Um, and that is through identifying the right projects, not chasing every project that shakes the tree. You know, identify the right projects and then execute them correctly, you know, in line with our processes and systems and so forth and so on. As seen in our results, we've uh, taken a hit of about 159 million, which is the net present value of the 255 that is to be paid over 12 years uh, towards this agreement. In addition, there are two things we can do. One is to go the route of the enterprise development or to go the route of uh, equity. You know, which is a black entity to take 51 percent of 40 to 51 percent of of the company. We had decided uh, to go the equity route, but it's now something that, uh, as you know, we've got a new board. Uh, it's something that we still have to apply our mind to, and uh, and then make the final decision as to which route we're going to go. It's an important play. Uh, I mean, you've seen the results. Where we're making uh, money, it's in manufacturing, it's in, in investment and concessions. Um, there's a lot of work that we need to do in the engineering and construction space. So the investment and concession business has been a, dis a, a stabilizing factor to the business. Uh, and it was created or, or, or 
you know, for that particular reason, to create a business that is counter-cyclical. And it has, in fact, performed uh, to that strategy. Well, again, that's a big uh, strategy discussion that we're going to have uh, to, to, to go into. You know. But I mean, you, we don't unbundle for the sake of unbundling. It has to be right for the shareholders. It has to be right for stakeholders. It has to be right for the market. And it has to be right for the group. You know, it has to create sustainability. Certainly, certainly. I think the strides that we've made just in the past uh, few months, uh, both from a, how we, we connect as an executive committee uh, and how we make decisions and how we drive execution, uh, says to me that this group has got the right leadership.